Here at Bear River, football plays a huge role. A huge role. A huge role. In the lives of student athletes. This isn't just a team. This isn't just a sport. This is a brotherhood. 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 You might think it's easy to play football on another school's field. But that's not true. But that's not true. That's not true. You know us at home. You know us at home. But you don't know the Bruins away. 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 We are Bruins away. We are Bruins away. We are Bruins away. I think you're at a disadvantage. Um, you're not in your own environment. At home, it, it's, there's a routine that you follow. And every away game is different. Finding the gym is the first thing you gotta do. And how far is the gym from the field, the locker room from the field. And you know, then, then we gotta find a spot to warm up. And so it's definitely an advantage to be at home as far as feeling comfortable and, and getting your routine accomplished. For the second away game, the Bruins face Sutter High School. And so what do you think about Sutter, their, uh, their team? Beatable. They have some big running backs, they have a big linebacker, and then they have a really good D tackle. But I, other than that, if we shut down their running back, I think we'll be fine. Our weaknesses are fumbling. Strengths are definitely <laughs> being able to plow over other people easily. Yeah. <laughs> Last year, the Bruins won against the Sutter Huskies. That was a home game. This year, the Bruins will be playing on Sutter's turf. The varsity team dinner is a long-time football tradition at Bear River. It has been held for as long as any player can remember. Uh, we've got all sorts of stuff here. We've got spaghetti, mac and cheese, lasagna, garlic bread, chicken nuggets, fruit, taco salad, and like a cookie. As the team fuels up for the away game, all thoughts are on the Huskies. They have two or three weapons on offense besides the really good halfback number 11. So we got a work cut out for us. Like one of our assistant coaches just sitting there, it's kind of like eating an elephant. You got to eat it one bite at a time. That's, that's what we have in front of us tonight. Sutter High School lies, not so surprisingly, in Sutter, California. The town's population is just under 3,000 people. The varsity team looks on as junior varsity struggles through their first half. JV has had a terrible start. Already down 27 points during the first quarter, they battled the formidable Huskies. As JV plays their game, the varsity players get in a last minute practice. As the JV game winds its way through the fourth quarter, it becomes clear that there is no hope in catching the Huskies. Final score, Sutter 34, Bear River 0. A complete shutout. JV loses their game by an astounding 34 points. Wrong Well, auto detailing clues for Sutter. Hit 
hit the ground. Tails. Tails. That's a tails. You won the toss. A stroke of good luck. Bearver wins the coin toss and elects to have the ball first. From the start of the varsity game, it is clear that this will be an uphill battle. Try as they might, the Bruins can't seem to get an edge on the Huskies. Get over there. So the game's going good so far. I mean, we're fighting out there. I mean, they have kids that are big and strong and fast, but I feel like we have more heart. We're always the team with more heart, and we can pull through anything, so. As the second half unfolds, Huskies gain momentum. The Bruins are slowly being left behind. Sutter's halfback, number 11, is living up to his fearsome reputation. It's been a long fight, but there is no taking down the Huskies. That'll be your ball game. Let's give our teams a big round of applause. Very hard, hard fought football game. I saw a lot of really great things out there. I saw us two or three goal line stands, big time stands, kept us in right the game. Right everybody came out. Offense did some good things, it's not enough. The preseason is over now. During the game. This game is history. I mean, we played hard. They're a great team. The defense was, uh, our defense was pretty good. They have a good defense. Our offense couldn't do that much as we hoped, but I thought we played pretty well. We showed some good stuff, so uh, I think when we, we'll be ready for league. I ran a corner out, the uh, ball was a little overthrown, so I just gave it my best effort, uh, came up short. Uh, it was a very, very good football team we played. We played great for three and a half quarters. Now, to be honest, we wore down a little bit the last four minutes. And with five minutes left in the game, it's 17-6. So, felt like our kids laid it out there tonight. Yeah, thought they did a great job. It was a tough game, and uh, we had to learn to like come together as a team, and uh, and uh, it really kind of was like a reminder of you know there's better teams out there. And, Brotherhood. Coming together as brotherhood. Looking to get something greater. Spending time together is key. That's what we need. It's all about that bond. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys.